Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, whoever, wherever you are. This is Andrew uh, calling in from Coolia MA um, with our instructional video on setting up landing pages on your own subdomain. Just a lovely little feature um, that you can put in place very, very easily. Um, for this how-to guide, you will need some uh, glue, some string, and some sticky bit plastic, uh, and also access to your DNS records and your DNS supplier. Um, Good news is I was lying about the sticky back plastic and the string, um, but you will need access to your DNS. So this is not a complicated procedure that I'm going to show you, but uh, quite a few businesses only open up their DNS to their webmaster or um, their, you know, their, their technical department. So you might need to forward this department on. Um, over at Coolia MA, for some bizarre reason, they give access to their DNS to the, to my, me, <laughs> so more for them. Um, but I'm going to have a bit of fun now. I'm going to show you how to do this. So we use uh, Gandhi.net, uh, a great company, highly recommended. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up some web forwarding. Now, you can achieve a very similar um, kind of, um, direction for using uh a records or C names um, within the DNS records. We don't advise doing that because by doing that, you actually lose the ability to cross domain track. So the ability to track across your subdomain to your main domain. And that's an important feature of Coolia. Um, so we do strongly recommend you do this via web forwarding. Um, let me show you what I'm aiming to achieve today. So let me go to one of our landing pages, our Coolia landing pages. I'm using our live environment actually on this particular day. Um, so I've got a landing page called Coolia Demo. There we go. It's a beautiful looking landing page by all accounts. There we are. Um, just preview that. So this is the page, coolia.prod.coolia.marketing forward slash pages forward slash Coolia Demo that I want to appear on a subdomain on our Coolia website. So get this all prepared. I want it to appear on promo.coolia.ma. That's the domain I want my landing page to appear on. As you can see at the moment, I click refresh. Um, it's currently showing me a Gandhi holding page because I've not set anything up yet in Coolia, or sorry, in Gandhi. So what do I do? Well, I go to web forwarding and I create a web forward for my domain. Um, I'm going to create a masked web forward. That's important. Um, we are going to be hiding the changes. Um, and, and I'm going to create one for promo. Anything you want, you know, you can create a subdomain, campaign, dot whatever, um, promotion, dot whatever, but I'm just going to call it promo for this time. And I'm going to forward that to coolia.prod.coolia.marketing forward slash pages. Now, where do I get that address from? Well, I get that address from my domain. So I've literally just gone in here and I can copy and paste that first bit there coolio.pod.coolio.marketing forward slash pages. Uh, the first word in every URL would be what we call your MA2 ID. So that's normally your company name, um, but that will be allocated to you when you set up your account and you just be able to see what that is um, by visiting the domain. Going back into here. Um, we are currently doing this under HTTP because we haven't set up HTTPS on our subdomains. You can absolutely do that, and we recommend you do do that. But for the purposes of this demonstration, we're going to be doing this on HTTP. Just be aware of that. All right, we're going to create that subdomain. Um, so HTTP subdomain promo.coolia.ma address forwarding to coolia.prod.coolia.marketing forward slash pages forward slash. There you go. And I've now created success. Yay. Um, now, it says it might take a couple of hours to propagate the DNS updates. It won't. Uh, it'll be pretty much instantaneous. So let me just go over to coolio.ma and click refresh. See a slightly different page. There we go. Marketing microsite for Coolia. Um, so that's a good sign. It shows me that the redirect has been set up correctly. Um, now I need to put in place the next part of the journey, which is Coolia hyphen demo. So I need to tell, I pointed it at the right server, I pointed it at the right IP address, all that good stuff. Um, but I now need to point it to the right page. So to do that, all I need is the page address. In this case, it's page name is Coolia hyphen demo. So I go back over here. I just append that to the end of my URL. Go to the demo. And I go to the page. Boom. And then we can see that our Coolia demo page over here, still sitting there, but it's now also sitting on our promo.coolio.ma website domain, subdomain. Beautiful. Um, 
Now, I did mention earlier um, the reason we're doing it via web forwarding is we want to maintain that continuity of tracking. Uh, and to show you what the value of that is, I'm now going to fill out the form. So I'm going to go uh, fly at uh, acme.inc. So let's pretend that I'm a customer coming to your site, maybe they're signing up for some kind of lead magnet, a free trial in this case. Um, could equally be you've got some great content, a white paper, whatever but you want to sign them up to, and they're giving you their details in exchange. So Marty Fly, my company name is Acme Inc. Um, and I'm in sales, let's say. And there we go. Getting started on that one. I've actually set up a redirect on this form, so it takes me straight to my Coolio website. So there we go. It's taking me to my blog, seven top seven easy marketing automations that will make your life better. We highly recommend it. Um, it's a great read. Um, and you can see over here that it's actually recognized me and it's filled in some of my information. So we've got that continuity of personalization. So if I now want to sign up for um, our uh, online newsletter, here we go. I've got all the information to hand. Failing, but let's just say, okay, well, you know what? I'm not interested this time. I'm going to close that page down. Me, 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 me. A week, a month, a day, a couple of months has passed. I come back to our website. I go back to coolia.ma. Back to the home page. We scroll down our page. And Coolia, of course, recognizes me again. So give Acme Inc. competitive advantage with killer content that converts customers. Why, thank you very much. I'll have two slices of that. Thank you. Um, and scroll down. And once again, we are seeing that progressive profiling. So we're filling in our information. We're helping the customer. We know who they are. We've been introduced to them. We're not asking them to reintroduce themselves. That's just bad manners. But now I'm just putting in some more information. Um, and I am in marketing. There we go. And I can now book my demo. Good good job. We'll be in touch quicker than you can say red lorry, yellow lorry. You can say it pretty quickly. Okay. So that is how it's working in terms of the personalization. In terms of the cookie tracking, let's go and have a look. Um, records. Let me see. Here's Marty sitting at the top. Uh, he's already got a lead score of five. Blimey, he's been busy. And we can see he's just completed the form page. He went back to our home page. Um, we can see he visited our blog page. You can see all the different pages, all the different activity. And this is where we filled out the form earlier. Uh, even there you go, Coolio demo page. We gave him a lead score of five. So we've got that full history of what he was doing before he filled out the form, da, 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 and what he's been doing after he filled out the form, and then what he continues to do as he visits different pages, uh, different. Uh, uh, websites so a huge amount of information you can then use those that information those events to trigger journeys automated journeys email journeys personalization journeys crm updates whatever you want within the coolio journey planner but that is a story for another day um so on this note i will love you and leave you and wish you a great day thank you for listening